Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm making my predictions for this Saturday night's WWE Payback. Our first match is for the Women's World Heavyweight Championship where we'll see Rhea Ripley putting her championship on the line against Raquel Rodriguez. I see all the attacks that Ripley put on Rodriguez adding up here and coming back to haunt Raquel Rodriguez here and leading to Rhea Ripley retaining the Women's Heavyweight Championship here. I believe this rivalry will continue after this show and we'll be getting more matches between Ripley and Rodriguez as the months go on. I think this could be a good rivalry to help out Rhea Ripley's title reign that some people have started to turn on and I've seen people say that they need to get the title off of this awful run in their own words. I can see even later down the road there being like a ghost of Rhea Ripley's past match where it's just a multi-woman match of all the people that Ripley's had a feud with all coming together here to go after her and try to take the title off of her. But for now at Payback, I believe Ripley will be retaining the woman's title and keep on with her reign and deal with all the Judgment Day stuff. And now it's on to our match for the U.S. Championship where Rey Mysterio would putting his title on the line against Austin Theory. Now in this match, I could see some shenanigans to maybe leading to Santos Escobar getting out of the LWO, attacking Ray and costing him the title here. But I feel like their feud over the title would be a lot better than having Austin Theory revert back to the US title. And I see Rey Mysterio defeating Theory and keeping the United States Championship after this match. I think the signs could start pointing to a Mysterio Escobar feud for the US title where Rey took Escobar's spot and now Escobar's has kind of been locked out of getting a chance at the US title for now and I can see that mounting up to where the guy who was looked at to be the person to lead the LWO could be the guy leaving the LWO with Ray and going after Ray for his title and I can also see maybe the rest of the LWO turning on Ray where Escobar kind of like he brought he was with them all before Ray was in the group and I could see him leading like a mutiny to get Ray out of there to where it's just the LWO versus Ray Mysterio we could see how that goes for the future but for payback I see Ray Mysterio Mysterio holding on to the U.S. Championship. So now on to our Steel City Street Fight for the undisputed tag team titles where Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn will put the titles on the line against the Judgment Day. Now leading into this match, Rhea Ripley gave Finn Balor and Damian Priest the ultimatum of they need to bring gold and pull their own weight or they're going to be replaced in the Judgment Day. And I don't think they'll be winning the tag team titles here. I think they'll be losing to Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. I think Damian Priest has that big green case and it can easily lead to a championship for him maybe even later in the night. And I think this could be one of the parts and could be the breaking point of Finn Balor being on the outs with the group. I just wonder, for the Judgment Day, would J.D. McDonough join the group? Or would him and Balor spare it off and go into their own thing together against the Judgment Day and maybe getting another crack at the tag team titles? This time, Balor has a partner he believes in, I guess. I just wonder what will happen next for the tag team division because it just, to me, feels like it's in a weird spot. And with Owens, when he was out with an injury and still being champs, this seems very weird. And I just don't know where the tag team division goes from here or what teams could be next. So now on to match number four of the evening. And in this match, we'll see LA Knight take on The Miz. To me, this feels like a no-brainer with LA Knight seemingly losing at every turn. I think he gets The Miz here and gets a win and gets one back in the W column. As we hear every Monday or Friday, LA Knight seems to be one of the guys that everyone believes in. But there's a part of me that thinks that if some way, somehow he lost to The Miz, this would not be good for anyone and this could be the end of something special. And I think him winning helps that out. he just beat Balor on Smackdown now he's starting to rally wins together maybe just maybe he gets into one of the mid card title scenes or since he is on both shows I don't understand how this is going to work maybe he could be in line next to be one of the guys for the world heavyweight championship because as we see on Smackdown we don't know what the hell is going on with the bloodline and the universal title or LA Knight's next feud can be with someone who's kind of stuck in the same position as him or him in theory could go at it and then we'll see where that could build up for LA Knight to move on to next to hopefully fulfill the prophecy that it seems like everyone wants him to fulfill. So now it's time for a steel cage match where Becky Lynch will be taking on Trish Stratus. This will be the shorts video of the uh, pay-per-view that will be up at 8 a.m. tomorrow. The look back of how we all got to this steel cage match and all the stuff that's led there at least that you can fit into a minute uh, thing. So for this match this seems again like another no-brainer where this is the end of the feud and I think Becky Lynch wins and defeats Trish Stratus in this cage. Now while the cage 
cage isn't foolproof with it being able to be climbed and there being a hole in the top to where Zoe Stark could be getting involved or she can come through the door to negate this stipulation. I just hope if it does come to that, Becky Lynch was thinking ahead and someone comes to help her because jeez, like how many times can you get two on one until you to go, hey, I might need some help. And just looking back when I was making the short for tomorrow, just the stuff like this all started with Lita and Lita just disappeared and we don't know who took her out or anything. But what's next for Becky, I think, could either be Rhea Ripley or going after Tiffany Stratton in the NXT Women's Championship because we saw that was uh, teased before and Stratton was on Raw this week. So for payback, I think the grudge ends in this cage with Becky Lynch being the victor and moving on to something new come Monday night. So now it's time for our main event for the World Heavyweight Championship where Seth Rollins will be putting the title on the line against Shinsuke Nakamura. Now I know some people may be surprised that I have this in the main event spot and I could see this show shaking out many different ways. Maybe the tag match main events here, maybe the cage match. But I think there's a decent possibility that we could potentially be seeing a cash in during or after this match from Damian Priest. I could see it where Nakamura was talking up how Seth Rollins back is screwed up and all this just being hammered home, hammered home during the match and then this leads to Priest sliding in, cashing in, we have a triple threat, he gets Nakamura out of there and pins Rollins who has to jack back. But if Priest is going to cash in after the match, I think he'll be cashing in on Seth Rollins to be retaining the World Championship against Shinsuke Nakamura here. I just feel like with Rollins be carrying the Raw torch, I don't see him dropping it right now, and I think he would it'd be weird for Nakamura to see the reality and becoming a World Champion and then losing immediately. I don't know how that would uh, shape out on Monday nights, but for me, I just don't really care who wins the match. I just want to know if the old Nakamura is at least that there's some just like spots or just there's something still there with Shinsuke Nakamura because it feels like he's been in the WWE forever and we just haven't seen the guy that we were shown before and in the beginning of his run like it just seems like that guy's left the building and we can never find him maybe you get Tommaso Ciampa to look for him too and I would hope a match with Seth Rollins could show to everyone like hey the old Nakamura who was in New Japan and his run in the beginning of NXT is still in there it just takes something to get out of him or maybe he just needed to be motivated to do it but hopefully this match can show that he's still there some way somehow and if the cash in were to happen with priest cashing in on rollins and winning the world heavyweight championship i think this could be seen as like a judgment day celebration where balor's kind of in the mix and all of a sudden things don't end well for the prince and he gets kicked out of his group here with everyone else with gold celebrating here at payback so that'll do it for my predictions for the 2023 edition of Payback. Leave your thoughts in the comments section below. Just another reminder, tomorrow at 8 a.m., the Trish Trash Becky Lynch short of how we got to their match here at Payback will be going up, along with more Broncos shorts highlights. We'll be uh, hopefully having our game with the Jets coming off of our loss with the, uh, to the Bears. Maybe we can get back on track and end the undefeated streak of the team that plays in MetLife Stadium. But if you like this video, hit the like button. If you like what I'm doing on this channel and want to see more, hit that subscribe subscribe button there'll be another video on thursday for the aew all out predictions and then a short for whatever match i decide for that which it looks like it's gonna be kenny omega and kanosuke Takeshita. so with all that being said come back for the hype video tomorrow and come back for the predictions on thursday and the other hype video on friday and as always thanks for watching